Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss one more option from the Access Client toolbar. So, for that, I will take my mouse cursor to that particular option, which is Manage DB2 for I database. So, through this option, you can manage your d database using this uh, option. So, let me show you one file first. So, if I go and check my object work obj in qgpl which is system library and my file name is emppf so this is the file that we have stored in our system library and now we will use this option to manage this file okay so just simply click here so once you click here it will one it will open one window for you there it uh, you can do some selection and there are various functionality that you can perform uh, means there are many operations we can perform to the database so we have to explore those all con area and then we can use it so you can expand this pub 400 because we are using public server so just expand this then from here you can expand this schemas so once you expand this it will show two libraries which is games 400 uh, pub 400 library and a qgpl system library so just expand this qgpl here you will find all objects like there are multiple options and multiple operations that we can perform like all we can check all database object alias column mask constraint function global variables indexes journal receivers if you want to check information regarding journals you can check here journals procedure row permission sequences sql packages tables triggers type views xml schema repository all information you can fetch from here for example, uh, uh, there, like as I told you, there are many things we we are not supposed to uh, cover all these options in one session. So we will uh, discuss few things and then later, as per requirement, we will explore these options. Okay. So for now, I will click here on all database object. Now it will show all the objects which resides in this QGPL library. So I will sort this with owner name so that I can access my object now I will go and look for my library my owner here it should show Shermit because we have created an object with Shermit so yeah here it is okay so once you select this uh, PF or whatever the thing you are checking for just click here right click then it you will see more options first one is definition generate SQL query and run SQL script journaling so you can find all the information related to journaling here view journal entries if you want to check for all journal entries you can check here logs log record permission reset users count statistic data select for compare you can compare or as well if you have two objects you can compare that object as well comments index advisor okay and then we have work with object like you can perform these options you can check uh, metalized query table data if you want to clear the data of your physical file you can clear from here itself Reor we can reorganize it we can truncate the file and so many options are there like for new we can add new alias to this table column mask index row permission trigger as well so for now i will just click on definition because in definition i will show you like what all information this pf have and uh, how we can manage those information if there is any requirement when we want to change the definition of a PF then from this screen itself you can change it so let's wait for this it is open so from here you can click on columns it will show all those columns with all detail like how many length it contain for a particular field okay and if you scroll around you can see other information as well like CCS ID and all other information so just uh, go through it and if you want to modify any of the information just select that particular thing click on definition again and then it will open another table uh, screen where you can perform the modification so he from here you can select the like field as it is already taken system name is taken from type if you want to change the type you can ch change from here then length is there right and default value you can set generated value you can set heading so these option you can check and if you want to add new field you can simply click here on add and it will add a new field for you similarly we have another tab for key constraint foreign key constraint check constraint metalized query partitioning so these things you can 
explore when you are working with these particular area so that's why i told you that uh, we will explore one by one whenever we are working on these options at that time we will come again to these options and we'll explore it okay for now just we are giving one demo like how these option we can uh, navigate and explore as per our requirement similarly if you click here on functions it will show all the functions constraints right so these things we can explore another if if i go and expand this option which is database maintenance then it will check other things like check pending constraint db2 mirror resynchronizations index build index rebuild table alter table reorganization transactions so for these two options you need authority which we don't have which we don't have because uh, of uh, we are working on public server so and also uh, work uh, re with proper responsibility if you are working on public server you you should not uh, um, change or impact any other thing which is which are not supposed to do okay so please take care of this thing and only use your own object in order to do some modification and in order to change something okay so yeah so these are the all option that we can explore from this option and um, in, in case of preferences you can click on preferences you can select the naming convention as either as per the SQL or as per the system in view you will find some other options like refreshing the data actions you can see these are the actions okay and run sql script this this option is separate thing so we will discuss in detail when we would we were discussing well at the time when we were we will discuss this thing okay so and if you want to sort any particular data then you can click on that column and it will sort data accordingly so right now it is showing data from a and if i select again so it will show the data from reverse order means it is now showing the data from z first okay so yeah these are the options and these are the things that you can explore there are many things which we can learn from here like how we can um, navigate and browse this alias portion journals okay so these thing we will uh, check one by one in upcoming sessions so yeah so that's all for this part i hope uh, this is clear to all of you in the next portion we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech sharmat